on October 6, 2011. 5,000 people descended on Portland, Oregon to change the world. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is here. And the revolution was here. Thousands of people from all walks of life gathered in downtown Portland, all with their own message, all one and the same. As I stood there on that bridge, I thought to myself, what could have possibly brought all these people here? Well, the big story for me is class warfare. It's going on all around us, and uh, my class has been losing. The wealth of this country has been shifted systematically to the top. It's supposed to create jobs. It hasn't done anything of the sort. And I think it's time for uh, the people to get control of the government again. Well, I'm a physician uh, with a group called Physicians for National Health Program, and we've been fighting for installation of a single-payer national health insurance program in, in the United States for a long time. Uh, and we tried to get involved in the health care debate in 2008. 2010, but unfortunately we weren't allowed in the debate because of the corporate control of the private insurance companies. Uh, they wouldn't let us at the table either. Uh, intrigued, uh, compelled to be part of this in its infancy. I think there's a lot of people here with a lot of things on their mind. Uh, I think it all needs to begin with getting the money out of government. And from there, a lot of the other problems that everybody's expressing here will get begin to get solved on their own once that's accomplished. I think from what I've heard so far, if there is one overarching theme, it's that people feel like the American dream that they've been taught has been stolen from them. And I can relate, so and it makes me emotional. And he certainly wasn't alone. There were thousands more, just like him, who all felt that their last bastion of hope was to band together as one and display their message in the streets for all to see. And take to the streets they did. cars drove by, honking in support, occasionally stopping to drop off clothing, food, donations, and other supplies, as hundreds of people set up their tents and began to form the infrastructure of this renegade society that would become their home for who knew how long. As the city looked on in wonder, for me, only one question remained. If there's one thing that you could express to the American people by way of this camera lens, what would it be? It would be that we got to stop sitting back on our desks. we got to get up and do something about it. Our entire political system is corrupt. It's, it, 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 
it doesn't matter who you vote for. We got to make some really fundamental choice changes. Wake up! They are stealing our grandchildren's future. Healthcare is a human right. You need to demand it. I'd say get involved. Get the money out of politics. Demand that big money, big corporate money, gets out of your government. It's your government, not their government. You're the 99%. You're the 99%. You're the 99%.